Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. My day just got a whole lot better. Owlcat has released notes for a new patch they put out this morning. And one of the things that they fix is a huge bug that I had experienced multiple times and a lot of other people commenting on my channel had experienced as well. And that's when some NPCs were unable to interact with you. That bug should now be fixed. Mind you, you might have to load an earlier save if you're not in a position right now to um, talk with the NPC that you couldn't talk with before. So I'm gonna have to load an earlier save. My playthrough is in Dresden right now and my ability to get both the Azada and the Lich Mythic Paths was already broken. So I've gotta go back and talk to those people to make sure that when I go to Dresden, I haven't doomed my chance to be able to have those. But all in all, I'm really, really happy that they work so quickly to get it taken care of. I mean, on one hand, you can say that it's disappointed that that was in the beta in the first place, but come on now, that's the point of the beta for these issues to happen now and for them to work out these issues now so that it's not in the full release of the game. So I think that's really the standpoint that everybody should be working from. We want these issues to be happening in July, not in September. So keep on submitting those bugs, letting them know what's going wrong in the beta so they can get all of them stamped out and make the game as good as they possibly can. They did add some additional fixes, so I'll go through those as well. There was the issue of the game freezing in turn-based mode after meeting a certain enemy in a place called the Underground Hideout. That's been fixed. They fixed several things regarding classes and mechanics. So there are issues with companions auto-leveling, there was an issue with some of the race bonuses and character creation. I actually experienced that. Um, they fixed mounts in turn-based mode. They don't expand on what that actually means, but I experienced that when Sela was mounted onto um, her pet, it was very difficult to have her actually pick up items. She would stand next to items and you would click on it and it just wouldn't actually open up the box for you to be able to loot things. So I abandoned mounting. So maybe that works now. I'll definitely check it out the next time I'm playing the game. Some people were able to loot the same container after saving and loading a game. That's been fixed. They mentioned that distortion in the main menu has been fixed. I'm not sure what that means, but I do know that for my entire playthrough, I've been playing the game steadily since this new update. Nothing shows up for me in that mirror that's on the main screen. It's supposed to have a snapshot of where your playthrough is in the um, game, but it's just it's just a white mirror for me the entire time. So maybe that'll be fixed. I'll definitely check on that as well. And then finally, they've also adjusted cape physics in the game. So a lot of good stuff there. There's more stuff that I haven't even covered, but... It's just another reminder that they're hard at work trying to make this game the absolute best it could be. I felt like it was worth going ahead and making a video for this because I know a lot of people have experienced that issue with the NPCs. And so I want to make sure all of you know that that should be cleared up now. And so now hopefully all of you can get back to enjoying the beta and going through your playthroughs. I know that's definitely what I plan to do. So leave me a like down below if you enjoyed this video. Appreciate all the support. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.